Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Sam. Uh, welcome to another video on our Sam's AWS Learning Series. And today it's, it's a short session and uh, we'll be talking about volumes and snapshots. This is uh, uh, added to, you know, EC2 uh, topic itself, but I just wanted to, you know, keep it apart. And yeah, let's start with this. What are volumes? So you might have already seen it. Uh, volumes are the EBS uh, storage piece, elastic uh, block storage, block based uh, storage, which are attached to EC2 instance. And uh, yeah, uh, the backup of EBS volumes are known as uh, snapshots. This uh, snapshot, um, it's, a, it's a way or, uh, you know, it's a way to provision the backup for uh, EBS storage space. And uh, this, uh, you know, uh, backup uh, process or uh, snapshots, it's done in incremental fashion. So the very first uh, snapshot you are going to create for uh, your EBS volume, it will contain the complete backup. and. Uh, then from that point onwards, it, it's going to capture only the changes. So that that's what that's what we mean by you know incremental uh, backup. And you can backup the data on your EBS volume to Amazon S3 by taking point in time snapshot. So uh, whenever you are you know thinking about snapshot, I want you to remember these are the point in time copies of your EBS volumes. And uh, to take snapshot of a uh, root EBS volume, uh, what I mean by root EBS volume is uh, that. Uh, the the uh, you know OS is in installed on that particular uh, uh, volume, so from there uh, the you know OS is uh, running. That's what I mean by uh, root EBS volume. And how do you take a back backup of your root EBS volume? You will have to stop the instance and then take the snapshot, because otherwise you know um, files might be in use and uh, you will you you know you will lose the data integrity. And for uh, you know reliable backup, you should uh, stop the root instance and uh, then proceed with uh, your you know snapshot creation and uh, snapshots of encrypted volumes are uh, encrypted by default and uh, you have the option to you know share snapshots between different aws accounts but uh, you must ensure that uh, they are not encrypted the encrypted uh, you know um, snapshots you will never be able to you know share between uh, different aws accounts and there is this concept a read concepts uh, this is for uh, you know um, getting uh, or obtaining better uh, input output uh, operations uh, the, the speed uh, the write speed the read speed and all so for improved io you will be using a raid uh, configuration uh, it's not uh, really you know related to aws but uh, yeah th this is this was there for a long long time and uh, just that you know aws gives you the freedom to you know use this raid configuration inside uh, uh, amazon so yeah what is raid raid stands for a redundant array of independent disks and um, it's a way you uh, what do you call uh, ensure the data integrity um, the write speed the read speed is you know um, uh, improved than the better uh, you know over, over the conventional uh, method so we have you know um, four popular methods raid 0 raid 1 raid 5 and uh, raid 10 so read zero you will uh, you will have you know striped disks there won't be any redundancy data redundancy won't be there and um, it gives you, you know uh, a decent performance read one you have uh, this mirrored effect one disk will be mirrored to you know uh, second disk that's that's how it is i mean uh, data placed on a mirror i mean disk one will be mirrored to disk two as well so the, there might there is a you know backup and uh, redundancy there is the redundancy and then we have RAID 5, uh, this requires, you know, three or more than three disks, you know, those will be connected and uh, you will be using a checksum um, or parity. And if data is lost, uh, uh, you will have to, you know, uh, analyze the uh, checksum or parity and uh, you will perform, you know, complex algorithm on it to retrieve the data. And uh, RAID 5, we don't uh, normally, you know, use it in AWS, even AWS doesn't want you to, you know, do it. They are discouraging people to, you know, use RAID 5 because of the complex uh, structure. And RAID 1, 0, this is the best combination. This is the combination of RAID 1 and RAID 0. It means that you have uh, both redundancy and, uh, uh, you know, disks are striped. So, um, disks are mirrored and, you know, striped. This will ensure that uh, you have the best performance and uh, you know uh, decent uh, IO uh, options. So here I am. I'll have to navigate to EC2 section, and then uh, if you have uh, uh, some sort of you know uh, volumes created, uh, if you have uh, EC2 instance running, you will be seeing volumes. Navigate to volumes, and uh, 
this is my default volume uh, the one which i've been you know using for uh, this particular ec2 instance um, this is a you know rhel box i've been using for uh, some of other i mean some other labs and uh, this uh, volume it's it, it's here this is the volume so you have the options like you know detached volume you can uh, force detached volumes create snapshot change auto enable io setting add or edit tag and uh, this is in use and as i said uh, you will have to you know ensure that uh, this is uh, detached because you know uh, uh, otherwise uh, the data integrity might be affected but uh, you know for the purpose of this lab i'm not going to stop it but it's a good practice uh, if you want to you know take uh, snapshots of uh, root volumes or ebs root volumes uh, you will have to always you know stop the volume or detach the volume that will ensure that uh, there are no uh, you know uh, ongoing operations happening on that particular ebs volume and it will ensure the data integrity so for now i'm going to you know click on create snapshot i'm going to name it as a uh, my snapshot and uh, you can mention that uh, this is my uh, rhel or something for the better understanding since this is not encrypted as i said uh, uh, the root volumes uh, they are not uh, encrypted by default you'll have to you know rely on uh, third party uh, tools to encrypt it and let's say create snapshot creation has started so i can you know navigate to snapshot and uh, it, it it's going to take a while while this is being created you can uh, see the you know snapshot name here snapshot id you have the size and by default uh, this will have um, uh, your ebs uh, root volumes uh, size so mine was you know 25 gbs and uh, this has the same thing you can see the status over here and uh, the progress is here and if you want to you know refresh it you can you can uh, do it and for the exam purpose uh, you will have to remember uh, different uh, sort of you know raid volumes what is a volume and uh, what is this uh, snapshot and uh, remember the key points which were talking about the encrypted part so if you ha have you know um, encrypted snapshots the volumes restored from that will be always encrypted automatically or by default and uh, uh, sharing the snapshot yes it is possible but uh, you must ensure that uh, your volumes or uh, i mean your uh, snapshots are not encrypted and unencrypted volumes you can share it with um, other e uh, aws users and finally the read uh, concepts it's a redundant array of uh, independent disks you will have to uh, remember uh, read 0 read 1 and uh, read uh, 10 um, read 5 it's not preferred by uh, aws people i mean uh, they they actually discourage people from using it and uh, why do we go for a read for um, you know um, fetching uh, uh, higher uh, iu and uh, that being said uh, our uh, you know snapshot is created you can you know uh, see different set of options such as you know create volume create an image and uh, you can copy it you can modify the permissions on it and so on so i want you to you know uh, take a look at it uh, uh, you know spend some time on this and uh, understand how the uh, process uh, goes so that's all i've got for now guys uh, uh, you know give us a you know thumbs up or like and uh, do subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video